Welcome into another season of the Union Football Coaches Show. I'm your host, Rick Corey, along with Union Head Coach Kirk Frederick. And boy, it's always good to get the season off to a start. But it's tough to make a road trip like that right away. It really is. You know, a, 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 lot, of, uh, a lot of appreciation goes to our Booster Club and obviously our administration for allowing our kids to be a part of something like that. Neat, neat buzz to the, to the beginning of the season when you get a chance to go down to Texas. And, and uh, uh, it was a good day for us. Uh, all the travel took care of everything. It was, it was uh, pretty seamless besides the Dallas traffic, you know, which is, <laughs> I guess, probably was seamless. Just seems hectic for us. But uh, uh, no issues there. Proud of our coaching staff that stepped up, our players, our booster club, the amount of money that was raised, and then uh, everything but uh, the last field goal uh, would uh, would have made it a really nice uh, nice evening. I know as a defensive guy, seeing 1,200 yards of combined offense has to make you a little crazy. It does, it does. <laughs> One of the things that you learn as a head coach is that you're going to have ebbs and flows with games, mm -hmm. and uh, there's no doubt about it that the bad taste on the in the defensive staff room this week past weekend was was pretty tough, and the offensive side was those guys were laughing a, f a little bit more and. Uh, but if you've been in it long enough, you know that you know week by week by week things could change, and that's why they call it a team sport. Absolutely. Well, let's take a look at the stats in this game, and we'll take a look at that 1,200 yards of offense. But what you'll notice first is 624 of those for Union. You have to be pleased with that. Yeah, we're really proud of those guys, and uh, I think we're ahead of where we were a year ago at this time. Everyone goes into the first game. You know, everybody's playing their first game, so uh, we understand that. But. Uh, Really proud of uh, the strength of our of our running attack in our first game with the offensive line, the way that they they did. I felt like that they played fairly well. And then, uh, of course, we had several tailbacks carrying the football, but A.J. Green got a big big portion of that, had about 170 yards on the night. And then um, we even got some rushing yards out of our quarterback, which we haven't had in a couple of years. And so I'm excited for J.D. and those guys. And the receivers caught some good balls. Really, really productive. Um, uh, offensive performance for those guys. Well, 19 of 25 for a brand new quarterback, that's a heck of a percentage to start with. Yeah, I thought he did a really good job of, of managing the game, doing those things. Um, you know, overall, uh, very pleased with where we were. Uh, need to get a little bit better in some of the things that we're doing, but uh, um, man, you, you know, for a, a defense that needed some scores, uh, for our team to be down a couple of times and then come back, I told our guys when we finished that that uh, I really like this football team. You know, being down two scores twice during that game, coming back, having an opportunity, tying it up, and then uh, unfortunately just didn't make enough plays defensively. But I think we'll get better. You talk about your new quarterback. He's your offensive player of the Yeah, game. J.D. Geneva, uh, outstanding uh, job for J.D. and uh, has just uh, really showed a lot of poise and uh, leadership. Uh, sometimes you have good quarterbacks, and then sometimes you have good football players. And I think what J.D. was able to show us was that he's a good football player as well as a good quarterback. Speaking of good football players, that's what Jake Rogers is. Yeah, and I'm not Jake, surprised to see him defensive yeah, player. Yeah, Jake Rogers. I mean, on a night where, you know, defensively you go up a lot of yards. Uh, he had 13 tackles. Uh, Jake was doing everything he could. And, and the breakdowns in his position was, was were few and far between. And uh, I'm telling you, there were some good defensive stops. There were some times where we had an opportunity, and a lot of that was because of what Jake did. And then, of course, uh, Kyler Pearson, well, you know he's going to always yeah. show up on special teams. Kyler is, is good. He's our special teams player. He's obviously a very good uh, receiver, does a great job for our team, but a really gutsy two-point conversion. When you look at a game that comes down and it's point by point like that, yeah. uh, we had a fire call that, where he had to handle it. Uh, uh, an errant snap or had an issue with the snap there on the PAT and just showed a lot of guts to get the two points out of it. All right, so those are the players of the game, but how'd they get that way? We'll show you the first half highlights of Union and Lake Ridge when we come back on the Union Football Coaches Show. For more than 50 years, Central States Orthopedics and Eastern Oklahoma Orthopedic Center have been the area's leading orthopedic and sports medicine providers. And now we've joined forces as Advanced Orthopedics of Oklahoma. One name, one focus. Excellent orthopedic and sports medicine care. Together, we serve as the team physicians for almost every high school and university in the region. We are the area's leading expert for work-related injuries, and our surgical hospital is the only five-star rated hospital in Tulsa. Advanced Orthopedics of Oklahoma. Come see why we're better together. Welcome back to the Union Football Coaches Show. Rick Corey along with head coach Kirk Frederick. Let's get right to the second first half highlights, that is, of Union and Lake Ridge. And coaches started on a nice night in a beautiful park. Yeah, it really did. Uh, you know, Lake Ridge at Mansfield, 
Uh, the district has a really nice stadium, kind of got us excited about that, uh, that new stadium we're going to have here in a couple of years. Good start to the defense going three and out. Mason makes a great play against the run. Mason's a really good football player. You see Mason Givens coming in. Nice job there. Marley Forsberg as well helping out. Uh, really good start to it. Uh, this team was all about trying to get the ball deep. And uh, uh, fortunately for us, uh, they missed fire. We've got you know a few balls, especially in the first half, uh, with uh, some some coverage issues. They go again to us, and and uh, we get uh, we get a three and out here and get the ball right back to our offense. Love the blocking inside there. Guys doing a really good job up front. Gabe Cantu at center and and AJ Green doing a nice job. Great uh, kick out block there by Sunday and Trent Smith wrapping up in there again. AJ making a nice play. Get the ball in here to Junior Smith. Junior's a sophomore uh, tailback, plays some safety as well. Really good wrap up inside, good press. Great job inside there with our guys. Josiah Dorn kind of doing a good job with uh, protection there. And then uh, we slip out, good play call by Coach Roki and his staff. We get uh, Lipsy out there on the, the touchdown. Nice play, and of course, like you mentioned, it's always difficult when you're wide open. Isn't hey, it? the wide opens are the toughest ones. And, uh, he looks the ball in, and then uh, we get the big touchdown. A lot of, lot of fun on our sideline being up 7-0. Got to feel good back to defense against a very fast Defense team. here, Jarecha 7, junior linebacker. We move down to the D-line, does a great job there. And, of course, Jake comes in, Rogers strips the ball out. Uh, we feel like we got an early turnover here. Unfortunately, he was called down, so we've got to get back to work. You can see this quarterback is very dangerous. We do a decent job of containing him. Jake comes in there, Bayjet. Uh, getting the quarterback down. Uh, they get a little bit of an edge. We got to do a little better in our tackling. You know, it's a game one stuff. Uh, but uh, guys coming in, Junior makes a nice play. Again, use the sideline here. It's just some small things we can get better at um, as they're trying to move the ball down the field. Some of our guys coming in making some plays. Yeah, good pursuit there. They got okay. defensive linemen out there. Good pursuit. Just got to get our guys in there a little bit better tackling. There's Jake Rogers again. You can tell he's played about 13 games. Uh, does a really good job, understands the speed of the game. We're off with a little bit of our leverage, and these guys will make you pay anytime, uh, anytime there's any mistake in leverage uh, with a lot of game speed. Kind of put the ball out there to uh, Junior. We get a nice carry there. Good blocking downfield by the receivers. Pick up about eight yards. Here's Junior again. Good block inside there. Josh at tight end. You can see Slaughter. Slaughter, one of the things that that Alex does. He's a great blocker, does an outstanding job, and plays from whistle to whistle. Very proud of him and the way that he played. Got Jake Harris kind of caving it down there. A little Q run game by JD. JD comes in, makes a nice carry. Get the ball in a little bit of, uh, uh, trying to get the ball down the field. We had a little bit of a uh, protection issue. They get a big sack going into this quarter. Got tried to get a good, uh, good edge play out there to Micaiah Belt. And, Unfortunately, we got to punt the ball away. They do the same thing, get the ball out. Got great pursuit out of our guys, pushing hard, doing a good job. Got Tory Thrower in there at nose guard, and, and uh, they get behind us. Got a really good receiver. We saw that last year in a couple of uh, plays by number 18, and, and uh, so they hit us quick with that one. You're saying they've got a great 4 by 100 team, huh? Yeah, that, it would, uh, we're pretty fast, and I believe their time is a little bit faster. How about AJ getting the edge right there, doing a good job. There's a guy that's pretty fast too, AJ Green. Uh, good steel block inside. Got a good job, Jonathan Edwards, a receiver on the outside, blocking well. John John doing a good job there for AJ. Great job by JD, stepping up in the pocket, keeping his eyes downfield, nothing's there. And then uh, tries to get the sideline, got to hang on to the ball a little bit longer there. Proud of John John for uh, fighting and getting that ball back there on the edge. Great job, good gaps up front to side Dorn in there doing a nice job. Junior offensive lineman, got a great edge there. Really good job picking up uh, some yardage. Here we are on the sprint out, and uh, JD just slings that ball out there. What a great throw and catch to Kyler Pearson. And uh, unfortunately, we get lineman downfield. Uh, so a couple of these mistakes early on in this half really put us uh, behind the chains, made it tougher on us. Really good job by Mason and company inside there. You see a lot of D linemen. You see uh, Michael Walker in there doing a good job with that. Got pressure here by Bajek. Good coverage down the field. 
we just got to find a way to contain this quarterback. And uh, unfortunately, we lose a little bit of leverage and he's able to get out and get a first down. Got some guys playing tough inside. We misfit it just a little bit, poor tackle. And uh, unfortunately, you could get those guys in the open, you're going to have a big run. And right about here, you, you were feeling pretty good offensively. Got to get back to it. Got to get back in the offense. Got, offense got to keep us in it when we're struggling defensively. Got a really good block by Makai on the edge. And uh, um, you get AJ in there. AJ had quite a few yards receiving as well. Uh, really talented tailback for us. A lot of yards after contact. Come back here in a two back set. You got a little block there on the edge. Again, just picking up a few yards here or there. Trying to find a way to to uh, get back into the football game. Get the ball out to this guy. He helps you out getting the ball back in, in his hands. Pick up the first down. Again, going back to the air. Notice that, uh, again, JD trying to keep his eyes downfield, does a really good job. Uh, pretty big body, pretty big body trying to get in there and, and make that play. You can see right there, we get the ball uh, right back out there to Lipsy. We got a great play, gets down inside the 10, and uh, really proud, really good, smart decision. Nice, uh, nice uh, camera angle there uh, from our crew here. And uh, Lipsy down inside and uh, feeling pretty good about the drive. Great blocking inside, great vision by Junior. Really special player, doing a good job as a young sophomore. We get the ball down inside and, and it gets to a point where you're trying to press and push and. Let's get this ball in the end zone before the clock runs out. They do a really good job coming off the edge and we get the ball down to the uh, half inch line there. We run a little uh, push play inside to Michael Walker. Feel like we got across the goal line there. Kids are excited about it and they, they mark us a little bit short here. You can see reverse angle, guys pressing and pushing and you see Micah coming across the uh, what we feel like is the end zone, but again, I know it's the first game for the officials as well. We've got to do a better job uh, in the future of not leaving that in doubt uh, and making sure that we're definitely, uh, everyone sees that we scored the touchdown. Get back to a situation here where we've got a chance to um, uh, put some pressure on these guys as half is running out. Quarterback does a good job of getting out of the end zone. Got good pressure. Josh Frederick does a great job of getting him pushed out of bounds and containing the quarterback. Got Chauncey comes in there, makes a nice play. Jake Rogers as well. Chauncey Andrews at free safety making a nice stop. They go down the field. Jaden Rowe, young sophomore uh, corner, is, uh, does a really good job covering down the field. And here we are with Jake coming in. What a great play by Jake Rogers. Marley had contain on the play. Uh, outstanding job for our guys. It's a really good angle. He cut that angle nicely. Excellent job here. We get the ball outside here to AJ. Good job. Get out of bounds, AJ. Try to, try to conserve some clock here. We can see we come back again. Uh, good protection from our guys. Get the tail back out to the side. With about a minute left. And uh, we're right back down in that scoring area. Come back with the, with the screenplay, good blocking down the field. There's Junior again. Come on, Junior, work your way down there, get out of bounds, conserve clock. Uh, a couple of those little things that we can do uh, with some young talent as they start to learn and do a better job. Look at the linemen downfield. Great job, guys like Cantu and guys leading the way. Excellent job with that. Makai Belt, nice, quick little screen out there. Good job for Makai. We're going to run a sprint out here and then throw it back across to Mackay. What a great play. Awesome job, awesome design. Fun seeing our kids celebrate and uh, getting down in the end zone and uh, big, big time score right before the half. Got to have those kinds of things. Love seeing your offense execute that two minute offense, especially in that first game. Well, and then Geneva and really that. sold that too. He, he sold really that did. very well. As a matter of fact, you just watch him. It's been the first game for anybody to see him in a half. Like the body language of that yeah. young man. Yeah, he's a competitor. and. And uh, there's a lot of good, good places we can start with this foundation. All right, so offensively, nice close to the half. We'll get to come back and take a look at the second half highlights of Union Lake Ridge coming up on the Union Football Coaches Show. My dad's always saying a little extra effort now will really pay off later. Here's how you can put in just a little extra effort and help out our schools in a big way. Just switch your checking account to TTCU. 
It's easy, you get $150 just for switching. And every time you use your school pride card, TTCU donates to our schools. So far, over a million dollars. They're the only ones doing that. So make the switch to TTCU and be the person who's making a difference for our schools. We're back for the second half. Highlights Union and Lake Ridge here in the Union Football Coaches Show. Rick Corey, head coach Kirk Frederick. Here we go. Second half, we get the ball first. We uh, won the toss and uh, we get the ball right out. We love seeing a big carry. A.J. Green challenged him at halftime. We need a big half out of hit this guy. We told him run the ball tough inside and that's exactly what he did. Outstanding job. Throw the ball out here to, to uh, Pearson. Does a really good job breaking tackles. Excellent job here, like everything but the flip at the end. But uh, there's another competitor that's doing a really good job trying to uh, keep this, uh, this game alive. Outstanding uh, vision, good route back to KP. Got good protection. And there's Mr. Lipsy again. Outstanding job uh, recognizing good play calls. Made short work out of that first possession. Well, and Geneva looks the safety off here just a little bit, yep. and that made the key. Did a really good job. Good, uh, well called, well executed for our guys coming in there. Outstanding job. And we, we learned how to jump and chest bump without falling down, too. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good start to the season. How about the defense? Got Kalo coming in there. Great job. Got Michael Walker. A lot of guys. Look at the pursuit out of our guys. And the celebration. Got Peoples in there. Really good job from our defense there. Come back with the play action, and uh, unfortunately, we're just not there. Very fortunate to uh, um, make a big play. Uh, Josh comes in, makes a big tackle for us, and saves the touchdown. Uh, they get a little bit of edge. You can kind of tell right now this guy's got a little bit of speed. He's out running Junior Smith to the sideline. They go down the down the field. Uh, decent coverage for us. He had to uh, check to the deeper receiver there. The underneath was covered. And uh, again, quarterback uh, into the boundary. Good play there by Chauncey. Comes in, throws the ball underneath to a good receiver. We've got to leverage this, and we've got to get off blocks better. So they're coming down trying to finish their, their drive. We see uh, uh, the first drive of the half, and, and uh, we're just losing a lot of angles, which you're going to see out of some guys. They come in, get a big score. So uh, second half, it's kind of one of those who has the ball last you know, type deal. And uh, Avante, really proud of Avante. Avante coming in senior tailback. We needed some good carries out of him on a hot night to keep some guys fresh. Avante did a really good job for us. Junior back in running, uh, trying to run the ball inside. Got to punt the ball away. You're not seeing this, but Stephon Forbes did a really good job uh, in kicking for the first night with uh, kickoffs. Got some balls into the end zone. Also did a good job in our punting game. Leverage issues, those things got to get fixed. I think we can. Uh, and again, when you're playing a fast team, some of those angles are off at times, but uh, uh, really good job there by Josh, keeping the guy using the sideline to help him, trying to get some pressure uh, off that edge. And unfortunately, we lose the, the receiver, and get our eyes in the backfield, and, and these guys will make you pay. Love how the defense steps up here, does a really good job. Uh, here in the, uh, they get it down on the goal line and our guys are, are fighting and battling all the way through. You love that type of uh, tenacity out of the defense. Um, tough thing when a guy drops a ball on the ground and, and uh, we just, uh, one of those things you just kind of, I think uh, I've seen a couple of teams do that to us uh, before, uh, but that's just kind of some guys making ad libbing and, and um, unfortunately that went to their favor. Yeah, this guy can run too. This guy can run a little bit too, and you know those guys in the green shirt can run, and AJ pulls away from them. You know that guy's uh, pretty special. Great block there by Alex Slaughter, good kick out by Trent, and then you get this guy in, in open space. Uh, all the angles are wrong on that guy too, so about a 70 yard touchdown there. Real excited for AJ, uh, excited for our offense to, uh, to get that kind of deal. Here's where Kyler earned this. Look at, the, look at the way he keeps the play alive. Let's figure out a way with everybody there to get it into the end zone. And uh, so proud, it takes a lot of guts to do those things. Proud of KP for getting in there and getting us those two points. Excellent job, look at that. Jarichus, Mason, that D-line in there getting a lot of pressure inside. Got some more pressure inside there by Bajek. And uh, you can see Jake, I mean, got a little wrestler into him there. Kind of bulldog that guy on the ground. Uh, great job. Here's Kalo again, junior. Uh, guys with some 
pretty good tackles in that case right there. You know, in Texas, if you get off sides there, they get a free play out of it. And uh, uh, so you can see why those, uh, we had to have our guys prepare for those situations. There we go, coming back in. Torrey does a good job with pressure. We lose a little bit of leverage. Junior Smith comes in, nice tackle. Getting him on the ground. Guys are battling. Uh, that's one thing that, that you can say is that, you know, we might have been battling in the wrong angles or wrong effort, that kind of deal, but our guys continue to fight uh, throughout the game defensively. Get to the fourth quarter. We feel like if we can get a stop in here, we got a chance, and, and uh, uh, our guys are continuing to try to figure out how we can get this stop. We get uh, a guy like Shane Fields coming in. He's selling out, missed a tackle, but you can tell that he's trying to play with a lot of attitude. There's that drop the ball on the ground again and just kind of pauses some people and, and uh, with that kind of speed, we've got to do a better job. Got pressure coming in here by Micah. Great job by Micah. Uh, gets it there and so we force a field goal. I'm pretty excited about this. He kicks a 40 yard field goal, but uh, when the defense is in that position to have an opportunity to, to uh, step up on that end of the field, they did a good job. AJ coming right back. Get the ball in here, good protection down the field. Uh, they've got it covered up, so JD does a nice job just picking up some positive yards for us. Get to the edge right here, and you can see uh, right now that uh, he pulled the cameraman uh, with a good play call there. How about a young sophomore, Rovon? Rovon Banks is a sophomore quarterback. Uh, used him in a situation here for a Q run, and uh, he picks up a, a big play. And then last week against Harbor, we had this play called and had a bust out of Junior, and so he was able to learn uh, from that mistake. We come back in a big time game when the team's gotta have you and you're down and, and Junior and JD connect. Uh, great play call, good touchdown. Come back here on two point conversion. How about that, Makai Belt, another young sophomore uh, with a big time play, the way he rips that ball away from the defender. Ball's placed really well. Uh, you can see here, great action. Get the ball away so he can't knock it out of your hands. And uh, excellent job, tie the game up. Defense, we need you to step up, try to find a play here. Uh, Chauncey comes in, makes a nice stop. Okay, trying to get some pressure here. Josh coming in on pressure. and We lose contain on the deal. We don't lose contain, it's probably a sack, but still one yard gain out of uh, coming across. You get good pressure from Josh from that side. Okay, Jake Rogers comes, scrambles to the edge, and uh, do a great job of uh, forcing a, a third and long situation. And uh, man, just a, just a punch in the gut. They get behind us on third and long. Uh, just some learning curves that we've got to have, and uh, they get a big touchdown out of it. But a chance here offensively. Chance here offensively. What are you going to do? How are you going to respond? You can see AJ again, big yards. He's a big, tough, strong kid. It's going to continue to do really good. Great job here by Junior. Good kick out by Josh from the tight end position. Offensive line doing a nice job. Receivers blocking downfield. Got protection. JD in that situation understands, hey, they're going to vacate underneath for us. So we're just going to pick up some yards from the quarterback position. Run the counter play inside. Had a few blocks slip off, but still positive yards. Get AJ going down the field and we come back here. What a great catch. Um, Outstanding job here by KP. Uh, gets the ball inside, and so we tie the ball game up. And uh, unfortunately, we just got to we got to hold them out of this uh, field goal range. Of course, they're, the biggest problem we've had has been them going over the top, and so play a little bit conservative here. Put the pressure on those guys with the time running out, and uh, we force a fumble. And uh, what an outstanding thing! Hey. If you can pick it up and score, go do it. If you don't get it clean, get on it. Right? Yeah. Uh, one of those things. And so our guys are able to get on it. I mean, you just feel like, hey, the, this is all we needed. We needed the, we needed the opportunity to have our offense with the ball, and uh, their defense is is good as well. And they step up in a critical moment, and uh, they're able to, to to get a stop for us. Come back here. Unfortunately, on third down, uh, we don't get the play. We got to kick the ball away. They get the ball at midfield. And uh, we've got to make a tackle. We cannot miss. The, that, that, that play there creates kind of an issue because now you're getting them in the field goal range. Got to, make, got to find a way to make a play to keep those guys 
uh, with a good kicker out of the way. Come back in, we forced another fumble. Jake Rogers is there. Man, you just anything you can do to try to, to help out here would uh, uh, keep him in, a, in, a, in that range. We freeze him a few times, and unfortunately, he's a pretty solid kicker. He kicks the ball, and uh, that's it. So uh, uh, tough, tough battle. Proud of our kids, excited for our kids, but uh, we're not in it for moral victories, and uh, we wanted to win that game just as bad as anybody, and we'll take it and learn from it and move on. A tough way to end it, but you see things you know are fixable. It's not like you went out there and just got out DNA'd the entire time. Yeah, I mean, those things are fixable. There'll be some things that I don't know if they're fixed by next Friday night, but there are things if you play the long game in the next three or four weeks trying to get ready for district play, I think there's a lot of that that we can correct. All right, so we'll come back with Up Close and Personal, take a look at some pictures from the game, and we'll preview next week. Broken Arrow Union coming up on the Union Football Coaches Show. Hey, Union students. Show off your Union spirit by wearing Union gear, only available at the U-Wear store. The U-Wear store has athletic gear, clothing, and other merchandise so that you and your friends can look stylish while repping the U. The U-Wear store has the best quality items and is partnered up with major brands such as Nike, Under Armour, and even Champion. For a limited time, Union High School students who present their ID at checkout will receive 10% off all items. So stop by the U-Wear store today and reward yourself with some awesome gear. We're back for the final segment of the Union Football Coaches Show, week number one. Let's get to up close and personal. Some wonderful pictures here from David Fisher. Yeah, good to see David out there getting some great pictures. Here's a really good one. You talk about ball exchange. Uh, great job here by AJ and JD on that one. Uh, there's Jake Rogers, like we said, player of the game. Josh Frederick, two guys that have been playing together for a long time. And uh, excited to see both those guys in on a tackle there and capturing that moment. Here's AJ going in again. Ball secured high and tight all the way to the ground. Great job with that. Uh, outstanding picture there. Uh, JD in the pocket looking downfield, as we said. Uh, good body position, excited to, to see some of the things you work out, work on show up in the game and uh, excited for that. Old lineman Gabe Cantu, a senior, and then right there to the next M62, that's, that's uh, Sunday. Ola Sunday is a, a guy from Nigeria. Actually, two years ago, signed up to play football and thought he was playing soccer. So uh, <laughs> excited to see him come through now and have a chance to, to play for us. And Jaden Lipsy on the big catch we talked about. Uh, old linemen don't like seeing this at all. And uh, fortunately for us, this isn't a sack. This is actually one of those scrambles, hanging on to the ball and uh, getting down the field toughness. Marcellus, didn't get a chance to talk about him. Marcellus Wilkerson, another tailback, also plays corner. Uh, excellent job, tough football player. Gonna be a good one for us. Love the D-line. Josh Peoples there, Mason Givens, Marley Forsberg, all those guys up front, Coach Brown and his guys uh, in there ready to play ball. Then at the end, win, lose, or draw. Uh, you want to come together as a family. Uh, and, and again, I've had definitely frustrating nights, uh, and, and for some reason I was pretty positive and excited about the team that we have. Well, I can see why. You saw the flashes of things you know can get better. And if you get better from here, especially if you get better from here offensively, it's scary. Yeah. But you know you have room to grow defensively. A lot of that's just recognizing things. Well, there's a lot of things. You know, you go into your first game and you want to travel well. You want to do those things. And the unseen things of we were ready to play. Right. And, of course, you know, you, you've been busy doing your other stuff. But here comes Broken Arrow, the defending state champions. They did lose some things, obviously. But this is going to be a good football team. Yeah, that's a good team. It, it begins and ends with the offensive line. Coach Alexander takes a lot of pride in that. Uh, a very good offensive lineman himself, and uh, they do a nice job, and that doesn't discredit uh, the amount of athletes they have. They play outstanding defense. Uh, got a good kicker. Uh, tailbacks are, are flashy. Uh, quarterbacks doing a good job. They played it very, very well uh, in that first game against Mansfield High. And, uh, um, you know, for a team that lost some guys, they, they look like they're right back in the saddle and ready to go again, so it ought to be a lot of fun. Uh, so, so many things, kids just kind of, when they don't have experience, they're just kind of in the vicinity, you know? <laughs> and uh, so we got to fight to be in the right body position. we got to fight to be in the right angle. Those types of things are, are very crucial. We need to learn those very quickly. All right, let's see if we can learn for week number two, and we'll see you next week after that week one, really, since we've had week zero here on the Youth Football Coaches Show.